WJZ is following some breaking news right now. More than two dozen correctional officers indicted on excessive force and gang charges. WJZ is live at the Baltimore Correctional Complex in East Baltimore. Rachel Minotov breaks down those charges. Rachel. Vic and Nicole, 25 correctional officers have been charged with allegedly using excessive force on detainees at four different state run correctional facilities. They were all part of a specialized tactical unit, which is typically brought in to mediate any kind of conflict. In all, the officers faced 236. 236 counts, including first and second degree assault, conspiracy, and misconduct in office. The Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services and the Baltimore State's Attorney initiated this investigation in 2018 after they received information that unnecessary force may have been used in a single case. The investigation quickly broadened and included incidents which occurred as far back as 2016. The department says its team of detectives poured through records and surveillance video for several years worth of cases and interviewed dozens of staff and detainees. That's how they were able to discover multiple instances where detainees at different facilities were allegedly treated improperly. The purpose of the alleged enterprise was to maintain its dominance in its operational territory. To achieve this purpose, the alleged enterprise engaged in illegal and excessive force through assaults of inmates, use of threats against inmates, and various retaliatory tactics. All 25 officers have been removed from their respective facilities and are suspended without pay pending the outcomes of their trials. We're live downtown. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ. Just a short time ago, Governor Larry Hogan issued this statement on today's indictments. Today's announcement follows an extensive investigation initiated by our Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. With this latest round of indictments, our anti-corruption actions have led to the arrests and convictions of over 200 officers, inmates, and citizens' accomplices.